that Stu is the greatest helicopter newscaster in the entire world. And that Sanitar is about to spawn in and I'm going to kill him. Never mind, he's not going to spawn in. Ouch. I think somebody else I heard inside though. Dude, you saw the Twitch Rivals arena that they're doing? One, I want to say massive waste of money for them. Because all the streamers are going to play that shit for the tournament. And the Rivals. And then nobody's going to play the game afterwards. That shit is just dead. But everybody's going to play it just because the tournament's cool. So, but it's eight teams. I'm thinking we're probably... I'm not sure if Jared is down. But... We were talking about running it back with the same team. Which was me, Tony, Hutch, Vibin, and Summit. But I don't know if Summit's going to want to play. I doubt he's going to want to play. Um, so we'll probably end up swapping him with somebody else if he doesn't want to play. I got some good ideas. But it's, I want to say it's eight teams. It's eight teams and first place is fucking, I think it's $3,000 a person. If you win and last place is like $700 a person. Or something like that. Which is a lot. A fuck ton. So if you show up and just lose 700 bucks. So they're putting a ton of money into Arena. And a ton of money into advertising Arena. Because here's the thing. They not only, BSG, not only has to pay for the prize pool, obviously. That like $50,000 prize pool or whatever. But they also have to fucking pay Twitch to run the Rivals tournament and like do Rivals. Like Twitch Rivals costs money from the game dev to do. So they're putting a ton of money into advertising arena and nobody wants to play it. It's crazy. Nice work, bitch. It's just Ray, when are we putting the nose ring back in babe? Why don't you do it yourself, Albano? Here's the thing is no, no, Twitch Rivals doesn't pay that shit. Hell no. Why Why do you think that nobody wants to play Arena? I think, personally, it's just boring. I think it's just boring. It's just not good. It's just like there's no... Yeah. Now, you know what would have been really fucking fun would be a Tarkov BR. I know BSG was asked about that in the past, and they said a BR is like an overplayed, um, just overdone game mode, and it's not entertaining or fun or anything. And I was like, I disagree. I think BRs are fun as fuck. I think there's a reason that it's overdone, and that's because it's fun as fuck. <laughs> but... I don't know if they were. I think that was maybe them just being like, oh, nobody wants a BR just because they're not capable of making one. Because think about like how laggy the game is already. You wouldn't be able to have 50 to 100 people in a game in like one session thing. You know what I mean? There's no way. I don't think they were even capable of making a BR if they wanted to. And that's part of the reason they don't want to. You know? I think a BR would have been sick, though, in this game. With Tarkov, imagine, like, Tarkov's modding, dude. Like, you can fucking... Oh my god, bro. You can mod out all your guns in Tarkov. That would be sick. Like, Tarkov fashion in the BR. 
That'd be sick. Yeah, either that or instead of like the whole... Even like a search and destroy kind of like CS kind of game mode I think would be better than what they have. But like, I don't know, man. There's... They had plenty of opportunity to make Arena a game that people would want to play, I think. But I'm not sure if there's anything that they could do to fix it now. I'm pretty sure it's just over. I don't think it is salvageable at this point. And then the way that they dropped it also made nobody want to play it. Well, the good news is BSG has made enough money to where an arena flop isn't the end of the world. The bad news is who knows how long they're going to keep just dumping time, money, and development, just everything into this game that will never be okay or played or wanted by any of the player base. You know? I think genuinely though, like not, I know it's a big meme, but I, I do think 1.0 is like a year away at max. And that means that the game's going to drop on Steam. And this game dropping on Steam is fucking ma That's going to be massive for this game. Like massive, massive, massive. They're going to make bank off that, and this game's going to blow up. Player base is going to blow up. The thing is, how many people... Dude, I almost... And I was, like, pretty motivated to want to get this game because it looked like a lot of fun. How many people do you know or think would fucking looked at this game, right? Looked at this game, was interested in getting it, and then saw you had to buy it from this sketchy-ass Russian website? And just said, fuck that. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. I, dude, I, I bought this game. It wouldn't take my PayPal when I tried to buy it at first. I bought this game originally. My, this account that I'm on right now, my first account, right? I bought this motherfucker with Subway gift cards. I went to the store and bought a Subway gift card to buy this game. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. It was like, or you can buy it with gift, gifty or whatever the fuck it's called. And you buy it with, you put up a gift card code thing into it. I swear to you, I bought it with a Subway gift card that I bought at Wawa. Or at fucking 7-Eleven or whatever it was. Gas station. Wild shit. Not cap. Not cap. Where else catch reshade was? I didn't play back then. Yeah, I saw that. Subway, they got rid of the... It's been so long since the $5 foot long. Now it's a 6 inch for $6. Wild. Wild. Yeah, I think they've upped their payment method stuff now because when I bought the Sash Lines, I was able to use my card. No problem. But... Yeah. Yeah. You used to be able to buy it with gift cards. You might still be able to. Off topic, but what features slash weapons should they add next wipe? Dude, I don't know. I personally am. They they do this this game. This group of developers at BSG does an amazing job with adding new content, but it's always like half-assed and nothing's refined. So I'm so sick of having new shit. They could literally, honestly, in my opinion, never add any new gun or anything to the game ever again and i'd be happy if they were to you know touch up on the more serious issues no here's my thing right look at it this way nobody has ever played tarkov and or stopped playing tarkov and said is that new am i dumb i do not remember there being a canopy thing there nobody has ever played tarkov and said Awesome game, just wish there was more guns or customization. 
Wish there was more content. No one has ever said that. Not one person has ever said that. That's new. Is that new this wipe or newer than this wipe? I'm saying like, I didn't even remember that like the last time I looked at it. That's wild. Nobody has ever played Tarkov said, cool game. Wish there was more content. It's always cool game. Wish I wasn't dying to fucking Xi Jinping. Right? No. Did I lose the packets? Fuck. I missed the packet thing. I didn't retain or I didn't lose? I lost them? Okay. Doing double negatives and shit. It's, you gotta hit visualize or something. Yep. There we go. New Tarkov is did I lose the packet thing? I can't believe that's one of the things I'm very surprised they haven't fixed. But also I'm glad they haven't fixed. Because can you imagine boss farming in the current state of the game if the packet thing didn't essentially tell you if the bosses were there or not? <laughs> that would be crazy. But that's like our last line of defense with competing with cheaters, huh? Because the cheaters just know if the bosses are there. They, they definitely just don't know how to. Oh no, packet loss definitely indicates the boss spawning still, yeah. I think it's always been in the game. Probably, yeah. I just don't think anybody figured it out until last year. For sure. Seems right. Player pops is a big one they need to get rid of. For me, yeah. I just think the bosses should... Dude, Jesse and I were talking about that. Jesse had the greatest suggestion that I've just fucking... tried to talk about a lot because I think it's a great idea. Is make boss spawn chance. Like fucking... Even from the beginning of wipe, you can make it lower off spawn, right? I'm talking... You know... 10-20% to spawn in. And then halfway through the raid... Say the raid's a 40 minute raid on whatever map's 40 minutes, right? With 20 minutes left, they have another 50% chance to spawn in again. If they weren't there in the first place. So 10, 20, 10 at start and then up it to like 30%. Uh, once we get into the wipe a little bit, right? If they don't spawn in, then halfway through the raid, there's another 50% chance they spawn in. So that way, a lot of people say they don't want the boss spawn chance up because they want to quest, whatever, they don't want to get killed by the bosses, right? Understandable. So there's still a low chance they spawn in off spawn. If you gotta do your quest, get in there, do your quest, get the fuck out. If you want to kill the boss, play the map, hang around, you might see him, you might kill him. Because right now, there's so many quests to kill bosses, right? You gotta kill the bosses, whatever. But the process of doing that is infuriating you spawn in see if you get packet loss there's people there's legitimate players that are farming killer for tracks tell me this just marks one month closer to my three month subscriptions comes to termination such as my love for you when you were disrespectful to lord yonk on valentine you uh, cold cold man brick. first of all fuck yonk the seven months papa yonk but as i was saying also fuck yonk um you spawn in. There's people that are farming Killa. These people go in with nothing but an SVT. They spawn in. They wait the 22 seconds. See if they get packet loss. If they lose packets, meaning Killa's not there, right? They just DC from the raid. And it's such a cheesy thing to do, but I don't even blame them for doing it. I don't... I would never blame the players for doing that. I don't think that's the player's fault. That's just the game... Make, making a quest where you have to kill a boss 50 times, putting them at a low spawn rate, and then giving you packet loss to tell you if they're there or not, you know? So I think it's a good strat, honestly. You just go in with nothing, you have nothing to lose. If they don't spawn, you kill yourself. Just go back again. No, they did not remove packet loss thing, nope. It's still the same. Still the same. Whoa, defib again. Holy. In game. Kill yourself in game. Yep. That's what I was saying. Of course. Of course. Goes without saying, but. You know. 
Yeah, it works for the goons. It works for any boss. Cultists as well. So if there's a map where like goons cult, say for Shoreline, for example, on Shoreline, if I get packet loss at uh, whatever, when does the raid start? If, at 49 minutes and 48 seconds, if I get packet loss, no boss spawned. If I don't get packet loss, then either Sanitar, Cultists, or the goons are there. But there's no way to tell which one. Unless, say, you're on daytime, you would know the Cultists for sure aren't there, obviously. So then it's either the goons or Sanitar. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with the stuff logic, but I know of him, yeah. <laughs> nah, you don't have to be over 100 ping. I, I don't think the 100 ping thing's real. People are saying you don't get... Sometimes you'll get, like, ghost packets where you don't lose the packets, but the boss still isn't there kind of thing. People were saying that doesn't happen when you're over 100 ping, but it was happening to me over 100 ping. I don't think it's real. I think that's bullshit. If anything, 100 ping just makes it annoying when you're fighting people because it's laggy as fuck. That was Cap. Jonk was telling me that, but I was like, Jonk, you're just not even that smart, bro. You know? Ghost packets ruined my marriage and killed my brother. Terrible, man. Terrible. Terrible. So sad. This is so sad. Please donate now to the cause. I cry. A little Lil Beard. I, why did I say? Why did I think that said dailies? Lil Beard lies. The new prime. Yeah. The the real way to make sure you don't get the false packet loss thing. What? Is to have a duo, and then at the time of the alleged packet loss or expected packet loss, you jump. So you, you jump and your duo watches you, and if you get packet loss, even if it doesn't show up, you're going to lag in the air when you jump. That's the only way that I know of actually making sure it's not fake. But it happens so rarely that it's like, if you don't lose packets, just look for the boss quick, you know? How much time are you really losing? Audio is out of sync? I'll fix. I can't believe nobody noticed. Y'all got to tell me if it's out of sync, by the way. Some people don't even notice, but when I see a clip, sometimes nobody will say anything. Is it better now? I'll see a clip, I'm like, dude, the audio is so out of sync, but nobody even notices. It's kind of wild. Maybe it's something to do with, like, mobile people don't notice, or I don't know. Because there's no way it's just not out of sync for some people. It's like, in the clip, it's out of sync. It's like... Yeah, there's no way it's out of sync for one person and not everybody. Maybe some people just don't. I don't know. Like, you know, like, old people can't hear dog whistles and shit? Maybe y'all are just old. Maybe y'all are just old as fuck. The human brain can only comprehend one FPS. Welcome to the red. Yo, let's go milk his tab map. What up, original? The six months, man. Old. shoreline's been chill i've been yapping today there have been some good yaps today though 
locked in. Yeah, 33 is practically dead. What What's the age of retirement going to be when I'm at that age, chat? If I'm in my t early 20s right now. If I'm 23, what age am I going to be able to retire? Like 85 or some shit, probably? Like 80? That's so crazy. That's so crazy. But here's the thing. Say I have, like, an IRA account, and I'm supposed to be able to withdraw from that penalty-free at 65, right? Can they change that up on me now? After the fact? They probably can, right? And they'd be like, ooh, actually it's 80 now. You're fucked. That's crazy. They probably can, right? Yep. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. It's not right. It's not right. I'll say that much. I haven't found it. I found like a lot of good, just random shit, but I haven't found anything like good, you know? Take the penalty, buy scratchers. Fuck it. Fuck it. Welcome to the Red Arm Sub going to someone with nipples and normal hands this month. Kappa. Welcome to the Red Arm Band game. It's more so the inflation will outpace your accumulated benefits, so how could you ever hope to retire at the current trajectory? How does that... What? I don't know, I'm not a fucking financial advisor, but how the fuck does that make sense? Isn't that the whole point of investing? Am I fucked? Math. Oh, the current withdrawal age is 59 and a half. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Some people argue it's better going off in the S&P 500 in the long-term versus IRA. Isn't that the same? Isn't the IRA just the tax code of the account and you can invest in whatever the fuck you want? Am I dumb? I'm probably dumb. I'm pretty sure you could just invest in whatever the fuck you want in an IRA. So how would investing in the S&P 500 be better than an IRA if an IRA is essentially just investing in the S&P 500? Right? Fuck it, I'm gonna just put all my money in Dogecoin, dude. Fuck it. Fuck it! This is a financial advice stream. Buy milk! Buy milk! To the moon! Somebody make milk coin. Make milk coin? And then get a deal with, like, Fairlife where they stamp a little, like, code on each thing. You can redeem one milk coin every time you buy a thing of Fairlife. Fuck it. Big milk. Ten days. Ten days chat till the blue milk comes out. And I'm going to drink it on stream. If I can find it. I'm going to locate it. I'm going to find it. And I'm going to drink it. Blue milk. Milk already exists. It is... 0. .00001967... Yeah, blue milk. Y'all haven't seen that? Blue milk. Shroomu blue milk coming to grocery stores. April 17th. Who's drinking it with me? 